Hi, I'm Dr. Gil Lederman. Call us at 212 Choices, 212 Choices for a fresh second opinion and a free booklet DVD. Conveniently located in Manhattan at 38th and Broadway. For your custom tailored prostate cancer treatment, call 212 Choices, 212 Choices. Cherish your life with custom tailored prostate cancer treatment at Radio Surgery New York. For cancer treatment, most prefer effective, non invasive, well tolerated outpatient therapy. At Radio Surgery New York, the Radio Surgery Pioneers, that's our goal too. We're first in America, first in New York, first for you with body radio surgery. We hit your cancer from head to toe with no cutting, no bleeding. We have decades of experience with primary and metastatic, large or small cancers. Cancer treatment with possibly a second chance for you, even if chemo, radiation, or surgery didn't work or isn't tolerated. Our goals are the best results and quality of life. Hi, I'm Dr. Gil Lederman. For a free booklet and DVD, call 212 Choices. 212 Choices for a fresh second opinion. Most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. We're super convenient. Broadway and 38th in Manhattan. Hyperthermia 2. To hit your cancer, call 212 Choices. 212 Choices for Radio Surgery New York. Welcome back to the Radio Surgery Hour. This is Rob Redstone here with Dr. Gil Lederman at the WABC Studios in the heart of New York City. We're just a few steps from the Radio Surgery New York Cancer Treatment Center on Broadway and 38th Street. Dr. Lederman, the leading cancer expert, treats prostate cancer non-invasively. He was the first in New York with fractionated brain radio surgery, and he's the first in America and in the Western Hemisphere with body radio surgery. Hey, Dr. Lederman, we're back. Hi, we're back. This is Dr. Lederman. I'm here with John. Good morning, all. We're at uh, 212 Choices. You're welcome to call in your questions. So is this an article in the New York Times about the doctor shortage that's anticipated? It's anticipated that because of Obamacare and many people moving to Medicaid, right. which is insurance provided by the state and subsidized by the federal government, that there's going to be a doctor shortage. And they uh, quoted many people. This was in the New York Times just on the 28th, so two days ago. Now, Medicaid has often had a shortage of doctors because they pay lower rates, and many doctors don't accept those rates, and so it's very hard for some patients to find good doctors. And the uh, New York Times says, quote, yet in just five weeks, millions of additional Americans will be covered by the program, many of them older people with a variety of health problems. The Congressional Budget Office predicts 9 million people will gain coverage through Medicaid next year alone. In many of the 26 states expanding the program, the newly eligible have been flocking up to sign, quote, unquote. And, I mean, there's several points to this, one of which is for Obamacare to work. Obviously, people have to be buying health insurance, not going on Medicaid. Medicaid is a free insurance. And one of the points of the article is that many people are now learning that they're eligible for Medicaid that didn't know they were eligible before. I see. Okay. So it's called the woodwork effect. Uh, it's listed in the article. And it says, adding to the expansion of the Medicaid rules is a phenomenon that experts are calling the woodwork effect, in which people that had been eligible for Medicaid even before the Affordable Care Act are enrolling because now they've learned about the program through publicity with the new law. So as a result, they say, Medicaid rolls are growing, even in states like Florida and Texas that are not expanding the program. So even though they're not expanding, more and more people are learning about it and signing up. Sure. And I talk about it mainly only because we try to accept all insurances, and we do that because we believe that everyone should have a chance to come to us. And we try to eliminate as many obstacles, which is why we return people's calls. We send them a booklet. We have a program called the Urgent Consultation Service where we actually promise someone that we'll see them within one business day wow. about their cancer problem. Uh, and many people have called and taken advantage of that. And within one day, they've seen us. We've worked them up. We've gotten whatever they need, a PET scan or a biopsy, and done the evaluation. Sometimes where people waited years. Yeah, I was going to say the, um, the email you read earlier, uh, almost the perfect option for them. Give you a call and right. schedule That's a, a perfect a, option. Yeah. They don't have to say, oh, I can't get an appointment with a doctor. Sure. I'm going to have my surgery on the 18th. I just, I don't want to see anybody. Right. Well, this is the kind of person that really needs to see exactly. someone. Exactly. Perfect candidate. 
And very rarely is radical prostatectomy an urgent procedure. It's urgent that he learns about the options. Sure. It's much more urgent that he learns about the options than he actually has a radical prostatectomy, which is irreversible. So, yes, there's a Medicaid doctor shortage. We take all the insurances, Medicare, Medicaid insurances, uh, most all of them. Uh, we try to take most all of them, and we keep on working on most all of them. There's another article in New York Times uh, this week on the 26th about BRCA. BRCA is a gene that predisposes to breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And Jewish Ashkenazi women are much more at risk for that gene than others. We have a caller, so we're going to try to take this call. Hello? Hello, Dr. Eisen. How are you today? I'm doing fine. How are you? Can we hear him on the line? Are you okay with Coop? So, so, would you mind to call the ABC number, which is? Uh, 800-848-9222. 800-848-9222. Would you mind to call that, please? Eight, that 800 number for WABC, please. Thank you. Okay, so, in Israel, <clears throat> a larger proportion, about two and a half times more women carry this BRCA gene. Mm-hmm. And there's a whole question about what to do with all these women that sure. have BRCA positive, which puts women at higher risk for breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Uh, the government is trying to screen more women. Obviously, there's a lot of Ashkenazi Jewish women in New York and the surrounding areas. Yep. So it's something that could be translatable to any woman, and especially in any woman who has a family history. If your mother or your aunt or your sister has breast cancer or ovarian cancer, you may want to get staged up and see if you have the BRCA gene. Yeah. Uh, like Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie had the BRCA. Her mother died of breast cancer, and she underwent a bilateral radical mastectomy or modified radical mastectomy. They didn't explain the exact details. She probably had a subcutaneous, which meant they took out the breast tissue without taking off the uh, skin or the nipple. So it's certainly something that's important to think about. We have Dr. Eisen back on the line. Good morning, Dr. Eisen. Friedman. How are you today? Very good. I was listening. Well, I just want to comment. I just want to introduce you to the listeners. Dr. Eisen is a, a Spanish-speaking radiation oncologist, born in South America, educated there, trained in New York City, and is devoting his life to taking care of Spanish patients who uh, need attention, cancer attention. And he also will see someone within 24 hours, our urgent cancer consultation, just by calling us at 212 Choices. Um, Dr. Lederman, I was uh, got a phone call yesterday from a patient that went at a major center in uh, Cleveland and uh, with abdominal pain and a history of uh, pancreas cancer in the head of the, uh, in the tail of the pancreas. Mm-hmm. He was there for almost 15 days with tests, with this, with that, and it, I was very surprised that it took them 15 days well, let's talk about what we do. So let's not uh, want to criticize everyone all the time. So if that patient came to you, you call them, you make an appointment, we'd probably get a PET scan within a day. The patient did not have a PET scan for 15 days. Right. So if they came to you we, in a day, we'd probably have a PET scan. We'd probably get a needle biopsy of that, and we'd know what's going on. We'd get cancer markers like CA-99 and CEA. And we know what the patient has, have proof of it, and where it is. Absolutely. And I was very surprised. And that's why I think that in our center, to move into a very quick way of managing the patients in almost 48 hours, that's the way to go. So then you can actually start moving and making decisions. Well, we're going to, uh, I appreciate it. How do people find you? Because I have one more caller, and we're almost at the end of the hour. So okay, how do so people find a, you? A, a, for the Spanish community, is 917-836-8105. One more time, 917-836-8105. And uh, in English? That's 917 836 
A105. And Dr. Eisen's opening a new radio show Thursday, which you call him. He'll tell you more about. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. Bye-bye. And on the other line, we have Eileen from Queens. So, Eileen, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Liedemann. I just wanted to, first of all, thank you for having me as your new patient this week. Everything you said was absolutely true. I called you. You saw me within 24 hours at the PET scan, set up treatment plan, options, and I want to say you listen to me more in one or two hours than I have been listened to in two years. I don't know what the end result will be, but just for that day, I want to thank you. So you've had lots of experience with cancer doctors and cancer in New York City, right? Yes. So how would you compare our facility and staff to elsewhere? The staff was absolutely wonderful. I'm also legally blind, and they were wonderful about that. And I was taken right away. I wasn't given any appointments until January for advanced cancer. You mean um, elsewhere? Elsewhere. Yeah. And um, like I said, I felt more than anything else I was listened to for the first time since this nightmare began. Well, we try to treat each person respectfully and listen to the patient. And what you tell me is what many people tell me, that sometimes their doctors only spend a few minutes uh, with them. And I don't think you can really appreciate who the patient is and uh, know about the patient in those minutes. So I appreciate that. I wish you well, and God bless you. I'll see you Monday. Uh, Thanks for okay, calling, see Eileen. You Monday. We're just about at the end of the hour. I know we have another caller, uh, Jerry. Um, uh, I'm going to not be able to take your call just because we're at the end of the hour. But we have another show tomorrow morning from 6 to 7 and uh, from 9 to 10 p.m., so 6 to 7 a.m. and 9 to 10 p.m., that's on 710 Radio. Uh, for those who want more information, please call us at 212 Choices. You can call most any time you want. Jerry, I'd urge you to uh, call us either over the weekend or to the listeners tomorrow. Call us at 212 Choices between 6 and 7 a.m. or 9 to 10 p.m. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great weekend. God bless you, and I wish you good health. Bye-bye now. Thanks for tuning in to the Radio Surgery Hour with Dr. Gil Lederman and myself. If you have questions before next week's show, just contact Dr. Lederman at 212-CHOICES. That's 212-246-4237. That's 212-246-4237. This is Rob Redstone. Till next week. Here's Dr. Gil Lederman, New York's only Harvard-trained, triple-board-certified radiation cancer doctor. If chemo, surgery, or radiation isn't working or isn't tolerated when cancer and its pain and symptoms aren't getting better, seek a fresh second opinion at Radio Surgery New York's Urgent Cancer Consultants for innovative, custom-tailored cancer treatment. See our experts within one business day because we know your time and your life are precious. Our goal is proper diagnosis and effective, non-invasive outpatient treatment. Decades of leadership, first in New York with brain radio surgery, first in America with body radio surgery for cancers of the brain, body, and prostate, all custom-tailored for you. Call 212-CHOICES, 212-CHOICES for a prompt appointment and free booklet DVD. Super convenient, 38th and Broadway, with most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. You're next at Radio Surgery New York. Just call 212 Choices. 212 Choices. This is where New York comes to talk. Legendary 77 WABC. New York. Accumulus Station. Station. From ABC News. I'm Dave Packer. At least one person is dead, but that number is expected to go higher after a police helicopter crashed through the roof of a Pax Scotland pub. Roof of a Pax Scotland pub. Roof of a Pax Scotland pub. Roof of a Pax Scotland.